my name is Maureen here at Head Games Salon in Portland, Maine, and I would like to show you today how to use a extension claw clip and make it into a bun on short, fine, curly hair. So first, I've prepped her hair with a little bit of volumizing spray and some curl cream. It's been diffused, it's been dried. You can let it air dry, blow dry, whatever you want. We're actually going to do a big side bun. So first step is to make sure that the rest of her hair doesn't look too skinny and scrawny next to this bun, is to make sure that we actually make it very volu volumized um, to begin with. So I'm starting with this top section, just kind of bringing that back. And a cool trick is to actually make multiple ponytails to attach the claw onto. So grabbing that, I have my first section over here. I have a small, clear, gentle elastic for the hair. And they don't have to be super perfectly separated sections. You just want to be nice to the hair. So there's one, and then this next one, bringing it over. I always want to make sure, too, that they overlap at the parts so that you don't have any skin showing. Grabbing this section, and remember, we want the hair to look very volumized, so she actually has really thin, fine hair. So these hairs actually don't even get all the way over here. So pin that. Grabbing the pin, taking a little piece, lifting up, and then pushing downward to secure it. So then that's two little pieces right there. And now this remainder section down here on the bottom will actually split into two pieces. So first this section right over here. And I'm grabbing up the rest of the hair from this side and just bring it over, keeping the little ponytail separated. Here's this section. Grabbing another pony elastic and then putting that in. It's right in back of the ear at this point, this ponytail. So there's one ponytail, there's another ponytail. Grabbing the rest of this, and bringing it up for one more. I'm actually just going to pin this little section, twisting it lightly, grabbing a little piece of hair, and then pinning it. So now we have kind of three light little ponytails right there. And so then to attach the bun attachment, we're actually going to kind of combine them lightly. Doo -doo 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 like that, so they look nice and big. And then there's all sorts of different companies and attachments for these. So what you want to do, most important, is make sure that it matches with your natural hair color. So we can see that this is a beautiful match for our, our model's hair color. And also make sure that it's a similar texture, so we have a, a curly piece for our model today. And so this is called the claw, so it actually has like one of the big claw clips in it. And so these are the ponytails of her hair, and this helps to grab it all into a, a nice, easily grabbable chunk, but still keep it volumized on the rest of her head. So here's the claw, and I'm actually going to claw right around that. Claw, now it's on. And I'm gonna have her kind of shake her head just lightly. And then she tells me it feels good. It doesn't feel like it's slipping out, so that's great. And so now we make it into a bun. So how do we make it into a bun? A bun essentially curves and swirls around. So this is really fun. You actually grab the whole thing and you can curl and swerve around. This makes for a really pretty kind of undone, done do. Curving and swerving. I want to leave some pieces out. Wrapping and wrapping. Okay, so then you actually want to pin it as it's going around. 
So I have these pieces right over here. I'm gonna grab a little piece of them and pin it into her natural hair. And I'm gonna continue to pin this going right around. Grabbing a piece of that and then pushing it in towards the bun. And then right underneath here, pushing it in and towards the bun. You want to make sure that no pins are poking or feeling uh, painful during this process. And then down here on this bottom, grabbing a little piece lightly and then pinning towards the bottom. And then almost back where we started. Grabbing another piece over here. I'm just gonna turn her so you can kind of see what it looks like on the side. Grabbing a piece from the inside of that bun and then pushing it in towards her hair. So you can see how then it, it creates more of a blend around here. And so then we have essentially these little pieces that keep twisting around and you really just kind of keep molding it. Molding and molding depending on how twirly you want the bun or how messy you want it. And I kind of want it to, to almost look like it, it swirls right in in the center right there. So I'm, I'm going to grab some pins and pin that right in place. So then actually sticking the pin right in there and then pinning right in. Again, make sure that nothing is poking the head too much. And then pinning right down. And at this point, I'm looking around. I'm going to have her shake her head a little bit more. And I can see some of these little pieces were just like a little loose there. And so just grabbing them and pinning them down. Everything going in a circular motion with the bun. At this point, you can also pull some little hairs from the natural hair, kind of up and out, to create the look of even more blending. And one more pin. Super pretty. And so now, kind of checking it out all the way around. She started with just natural, fine, thin, curly hair. And now we have a nice, big bun. Looks like her natural hair has just been taken up and swirled around into a nice, big, messy bun. Perfect with that little black dress for the holidays or some other event. And so there we have it, a nice, big bun attachment with the claw clip. My name is Maureen here at Head Game Salon in Portland, Maine. Thank you for joining me.